Dasung has been the leader of secondary monitors for years. They have a total of 9 devices under their belt and essentially was the first company to start dabbling in the sector. In fact, within the 25 inch monitor size category alone, Dasung has a whopping 4 choices. Today's feature is the Dasung Paperlike 253 Dark Knight Edition. This one features a 25.3 inch screen with 3200 by 1800 resolution and 16 by 9 widescreen. It also has stereo speakers on board, an all plastic body, and 3 display modes with 5 sub speed modes for a total of 15. However, the device as it stands is not cheap. In fact, it's $450 USD more than its competitor, Onyx. $2,250 USD is a hard pill to swallow for some people. But the reality is, is that there's just no options right now for 25 inch monitors. Since the first generation, Dasung has always used these fairly iconic buttons. C to clear everything, M to change modes, and plus and minuses to do various tasks, like increase the speed, change the blackness, etc. Power is power and the glow light button manages the glow light. So let's dive in and check out each individual mode, starting with graphic mode. This is the best looking mode, it will never look better than this. So the refresh, the staining, this is all going to try to be as prioritized for the overall appearance rather than the usability. You can see that when we cycle between things it's very choppy, it's very blurry when it kind of renders, but the background for the most part is the cleanest it's going to look. And why this is is because they try to prioritize the overall appearance rather than the usability of fluidity. This will change as we get into other modes, but this is what it looks like when we do pinch and zooms. You can see if we go into something like this that has a mix of elements like pictures, headers, and text, you will see that staining in general is at an all time minimum. You can also press the C button anytime you want to clear the screen. Pressing the C button does a full refresh and the C stands for clear and that will swipe away everything on the screen. Of course, most of that will all come back when you start to go like this and you zoom back out and you change the inherent nature of the screen as well. But this is going to be the best possible mode, we'll show you videos in a little bit. So whether you're reading a book, looking at images, this is what it's going to look like. But that brings us to our next mode, which is text mode. Text mode most certainly does change a lot of things. It becomes a little bit more smooth and the contrast is increased. What we mean by that is if you look at the headers now, they're super deep black. They look like they're not pixelated at all. Look at the curvature on the G's and the O's, for example. Everything that isn't a straight line looks absolutely fantastic. Pictures, however, are not a priority. There's actually a lot more on the screen that you cannot see around this area where I'm showing you with my pointer. There is tons of things that they're just completely gotten rid of because there's no need for it. This is a mode that prioritizes text. Video also looks pretty bad in this mode because it doesn't need to look good because that's what video mode is for. Where this shines is ebooks. So looking at an ebook here, you will see that it is a very good experience. That looks phenomenal when it comes to black on white contrast. In fact, the text is always going to look as good as it possibly can on this device in text mode. But again, when you get to things like you get some cover art, you get some pictures mid-roll, it's just not going to look the same. But overall, not fluidity wise, but overall appearance wise, for text when you're dealing with things that are black and white, this is going to look the best. You can see where I'm pointing right here, as contrasted by normal mode or graphic mode, you'll see that there's literally no staining. Almost none at all as you proceed. And it doesn't need to do a full refresh. Even if we go to a white spot here, there's literally nothing in the background. It is truly a phenomenal mode, but really only has a single use case and that is during text. Now before we get into video mode, let's check out fast plus 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 plus. Yes, that's an actual mode. So now you can see the fluidity is night and day different. 
than the original text mode in regular fast. However, looking at the screen now, the mouse pointer has increased speed of course, but look at that. All the staining has come back, all kind of sporadically too, it's peppered across the screen. However, the overall contrast has been lightened, but the quality hasn't been affected all that much. So for example, everything is still very round and unpixelated, but staining has increased, blurring has increased in the background. You can see here that it's dragging along almost like you're rubbing it with a marker, but it's very smooth now. So you can see it's mimicking the PC's screen almost to the T. There's not too much of a frame rate difference between the PC screen that we're utilizing and the fluidity of the screen above that you're seeing right now on the Dasung Paperlike. Doesn't look good on images. This is a full image filled with a whole bunch of playpen balls, but you wouldn't see it because they just can't display it all. And if we go to an article, you can see here this is a picture of the ink palm, but you can't even see it because it's completely gone. The text elements are great but the images have just been abandoned almost entirely. Video mode on Fast 4 Plus is the fastest this device will be. There is no way to make it faster. Aside from prioritizing image elements, aside from prioritizing text elements, fluidity wise, this is the fastest this device can display, period. So they try to find a decent balance of text, images, movement and staining. The least prioritized thing is staining of course. You can see here we have things from our desktop that are still stained over the screen. This is going to be the worst appearance mode because they're trying to make it fast. This across anything, images, websites, carousels, and even videos which we'll show you in a second, are almost pound for pound as fast as the screen we're using down below off camera here than it is on the Dasung itself. This is a miraculous refresh rate with very little drawback all things considered. Something that the Dasung line of 25 inch monitors does that no one else will is the glow light. This is insane how there's a glow light on here. Not too long ago, 13.3 inch devices didn't even have glow lights. Never mind a 25 inch. Now it is $100 more per glow light model, whether you're buying the Dark Knight or the regular, you have to spend $100 more, and it is still $450 more than the Onyx, the Onyx being the only other competitor. So it is a lot of money to consider to get a glow light on your device, but if you are in low light circumstances, or you're in a dark room working after hours, you can't use the device unless you have a light. And shining light on a screen can be inconsistent, whereas this is completely illuminated. And it's not just this mode. There's also a blue light mode, where blue light is shown from the back of the screen. Now that's not the greatest, but it could be really good to counteract your environment. If you're dealing with incandescent light, fluorescent lights, etc., it is nice to have multiple modes. However, there's a third mode, which is candle light slash warm light. This mode is the easiest on the eyes. It does disturb the color a little bit, so you can see here from the playpen balls again, it can change the overall look of things pretty drastically. However, it is nice to have because again, given your circumstances, maybe you don't want just one level of glow light. And of course, to save power, you can turn off the glow light altogether. When it comes down to 25 inch monitors, there are only two choices, Dasung and Onyx. That's it. The display technology itself is also very expensive with no vendors buying the 25 inch panels other than these two. So with all those factors, the costs are high. But taking it for what it is, 
the Dasung is an absolute beast with some of the best refresh rates in the industry. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.